All right, time to theorize. Let's go. Consume the crap out of these things. Blow them away with the break boost. There we go. Absolutely wonderful. Let's just go ahead and, like, repeat that entire scenario, if you don't mind. Yep, perfect. Awesome. Well done, team. Well done, indeed. I love consumption. We won, right? Right? Uh, the enemies are dead. We're alive. Oh, I forgot to look at equipment. Didn't we master some stuff? Yep, we did. All right, you're done with the Void Ring, finally, so you can move on to Aqua Ring or Wind Ring. Can't give you the wards yet because everyone else is using them and they take seven years to master. Yeah, all you've got left is Aqua and Wind. I mean, may as well just go with Aqua first, I guess. It doesn't really matter. You're done with that waistcoat, so we can move you on to the Amber. You're done with that one. You've still got Thorny and Calcet. Hey, go ahead and get to work on Thorny. Get that one done. And then you're both still going. All right, cool. Got a lot of cat souls. Ooh, one of the magical, fancy, smancy teleporters. Always good to get these things on. I can climb this, it looks like. Yeah, I can. And it looks like I have to, actually, to move on. All right. Leave me alone. I'm about to climb some vines. Very dangerous. Ba -dum -ba -dum -bum 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 -bum. Man, Eisen, you're, like, booking it. Let's see here. I want to go this way first. There's a cat chest. Speak of the devil. Let's get over here and see if we can open this bad boy. And then there's another chest over there we can open up. Do cat chests count towards the counter at the top left? Found a cat, yes. No, they, uh, you stupid witch, I was busy. How dare you, you are weak to earth. Just like the harpies. Ariel. These things die pretty fast. Look at how fast their HP drops, holy cow. Only got 5,000 HP and they don't have, uh, don't have much in the way of defense, it seems. Screw you, other witches that are casting arts as I kill your brethren. I do not remember that mystic art. That might be the first time we've seen that. There we go. Now we're talking. I accidentally used Blue Inferno at like the worst possible time. Wasn't much that could be done about it. Can this thing die though? Like right now? I love those wind blades. You don't want to make me angry. Lafay said apologize for losing your temper. Oh, sorry. Come on, let the boy try to act tough. <laughs> oh, these guys. I love them. But anyways, what was I saying before? I've completely forgotten. Oh, the chest thing does not include cat chests, duly noted. So that means after I open this, I'll have missed two chests here. I have no idea where I've missed these two chests at. Glad to get another Enoph bottle. No idea where I've missed them at, but you know, whatever. Doesn't really matter now. Still don't have whatever ability I need to go across there. Let's grab this herb. Thank you. I think I picked up a cat soul without even realizing that I was picking up a cat soul. I heard the ding noise, but I didn't see what it was for. But I guess we're done in the ravine, so we should move about our days. Is there anything over here in the corner? Another chest, perhaps, if I go along the edge? Cannot go along the edge. So I hope there's not a chest back there, otherwise that kind of sucks. name sounds so familiar. Hey, Eleanor? Thanks for stepping in earlier. Think nothing of it. My orders are to protect you, so I did. Oh, I see. Of course, orders are no orders. I'd save anyone under threat from a demon. Well, how noble. Oh, I got it! Got, got what? The tragic tale of the sword storm quell. Gather round and listen, oh grimy travelers. Once, centuries past, there was a sword renowned the world over for its peerlessly sharp edge. Its forger shrouded in mystery. So mighty was each swing of the sword, it produced howling winds that could level mountains. No other sword could match its power. The people, in their superstition, began to call it the God Blade. This god blade, is it Stormquell? Shush! The tale is merely beginning. Now, there was one man who was truly enamored with the god blade. 
His name was Kudogane, a blacksmith of wondrous talent. His heart was set on forging an even greater sword. And he had a name in mind for this sword. Stormquell, the sword to conquer the Godblade's roaring winds. And did he make it? Kudogane forged scores of challengers to the Godblade. But each would-be Stormquell was shattered by the implacable howling wind. Some say the wielder of the Godblade chopped off his head. Others say he took his own life. The truth is lost to the dusty cobwebs of history. But perhaps he, and his grudge towards the Godblade, somehow yet live. A grudge that spans centuries. You hear tall tales like this all the time. That sword and its inscription we saw were probably just inspired by the legend. Perhaps. But if that's the real Stormquell, we should all sleep with one eye open tonight. What makes you say that? Because that godblade Kudogane wanted so desperately to top has been passed down through my family for generations. Its name is Stormhowl. Oh. In other words, we could well bump into your armored friend again. Let's hurry it up. Well, all right then. We are now in the Vester Tunnels, the old mining site. All right. There are zero chests here, so I guess I don't got to worry about that at all. What do we have going on around here? What the heck is that? Ugh. Some kind of weird zombie demon thing. It's good that the chest number thing, like, carries over from area to area, so I guess it just works everywhere from now on. That's pretty cool. Favorable encounter time. Let's get started. What are you... You're not weak to anything. Oh, that's not cool at all. I'm just gonna use water on you then. Why not? And since I'm in a favorable position, I'll go ahead and theorize early. Probably earlier than I should. That was pretty awesome, though. If I do say so myself. Go ahead and attack me. I dare you. Easiest block slash dodge slash soul stealing of my life. Did someone steal my soul? After I stole it first. How dare you? Where is the honor among thieves? Where is it gone? Come here, you stupid centipede freak of nature. I was about to call it a lizard, but that's that's incredibly wrong. Another victory. I love those wind discs. They are so cool. Who just mastered something? Yep, there it is. Simple ribbon. You've got no other ribbons. Well, sucks to be you. No more mastery today. Oh my goodness, this was an enemy. I'll be honest, that, that kind of got me a little bit. That got me a little bit. I'm not going to be able to favorable encounter you. Let's just go. I don't think we have a Rock on. You don't think we have a chance? It's only level 23. Look at its HP. It barely has any HP at all. Take this thing out. It, uh, it takes, like, no damage, though. I will give you that. Well, no, we're, we're making progress. Yeah, it's already lost, like, 700 HP. This ain't too bad. I'm gonna try and get it down to like 2,000 and then theorize off of it. I tried to dodge it, but I did it too late. Go ahead and attack me, I dare you. Ah, yes, the wind discs of death. How I enjoy them so. There you go, theorize. There we go, now we're talking. Way too early. Go ahead and attack me, I dare you. Okay, never mind, I'll just try and finish you off then. That Mystic Art did, like, all of its HP. These things have, like, what, 4,000? Yeah, almost 4,000. That did almost 3,000. I love the Wind Discs, man. I'm telling you. New favorite art. I mistimed it again. Dang. Oh, there we go. I hope I did a good job. Hey, you did fine, man. Don't worry. Very well done. I don't, I don't want to mess with this, whatever this thing is. Keep that thing away from me. I guess I don't need to check every nook and cranny because there are no chests lying around, so who cares? Listen, Lafayette. What is it? You can't trust her just because she said she'd protect you. Orders or no orders. Remember, Malakim are just tools to exorcists. But... She really did protect me. I know you feel you owe her for that. But do you have to look so happy about it? Sorry. I'm not asking for an apology. I just want her to know that we've all got an eye on her. No matter how close you two get. I want her to understand that I come first. So... What do you want me to do? 
Let's see. To put it simply, I'm number one, and Eleanor is number two. Got it? I get it. You're number one, and Eleanor is number two. Right. I'm number one. Wait, this is kind of stupid, isn't it? It's all right. I understand. Uh, that's not what I mean. <laughs> okay. To be honest, I thought you got it a little mixed up. Yeah, Velvet is number one. And then probably Rokuro is number two. I'd put Aizen number three. Bienfu number four, maybe? Eleanor number five. I actually like Eleanor more than Bienfu, but I'm trying to put it in Velvet's terms. And Magilu is like number 78 or something like that. Like, she's way down the list of people that matter. Uh, there's another Code Red demon that I might want to try and get to. We were able to defeat Horus. That's another of the stupid giant monster things just lying there. We could defeat Horus, so we might be able to uh, defeat that. All right, that was awesome. It looks like he barely even tried. He just flicked his wrist forward and bam, it's gone. What the heck is that? Let's go ahead and save the game really fast. How much time do I have? A little under 10 minutes, about eight. All right, we can still play a little bit longer. Horus was level 23, I think, and I'm what, like level, am I still 17 or am I like 18 now? 18 now, okay. Can I see the... Oh, it's a snake. Totally want to kill that thing if I can. What is this? The door is sealed by a magical barrier. You can sense fire mana inside it. Hmm, well, that's a little less than ideal. I wonder if this fire mana looking thing has anything to do with it. A candle? What's that doing here? Oh, I think these were used to keep robbers away. Like wards around old king's tombs. I've read about this. There's a trick to the stone. It reacts to heat. Heat, huh? Then there's only one thing to do. Candles and doors. Some doors are sealed with a flame enchantment and cannot be opened by ordinary means, but by finding and lighting candles in the area, you can dispel the enchantment and open the door. Makes sense. You may have to light more than one candle to open some doors, of course. Very well done. You know, we were talking earlier about how Zavid is a wind, uh, Malakim, Seraphim, whatever. And how each Malakim has its own affinity. Obviously, Aizen is Earth. We know that because of Zestiria, Edna, I'm pretty sure, mentioned it. And Edna herself was an Earth Malakim. And, you know, Aizen has plenty of Earth arts. I want to get to that lizard somehow. Or not lizard, snake. I don't know why I said lizard. Well done. Maybe this will lead me to it. So, I'd like to know what Bienfu is. Because I'm pretty sure Norman follow the same rule, if I'm not mistaken. That's a lot of gold. But I'd really like to know what, um, what's his name is. Lafayette. I don't know what Lafayette is. I think he has wind arts, doesn't he? Is he a wind molecule? No, let, let me see your arts. Where do I I'd probably just go to arts? Yeah. What have you got? You got like a lot of wind arts. That's wind and earth. That's water and fire. Okay, so you just can't decide. Uh, it looks like you may have a few more water than any others, like three water and then like two of everything else, maybe. So maybe water? I don't know. Who can tell? We're gonna try and fight this code red demon and see how well it goes. It looks pretty dangerous. An Ouroboros, level 27, weak to earth. Uh huh. Well, we might be running from this one. I'll tell you straight up. Look at how fast this Ouroboros is, holy cow. It moves really quick. But let's, let's get, oh my goodness, you see how much health Aizen just lost? Yeah, we're probably gonna be running from this one, but let's try for a little bit at least. I tried to get the soul thing there, but I did it incorrectly, unfortunately. Hey, no, 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 you're fighting me, what are you doing? Don't run away, come here. I need to kill you and all of your friends and family. Aizen, stop taking so much damage. In fact, I didn't, dang it, I did it again. Okay, I'm back to me. Aizen, switch out for Eleanor. I can't switch him out for Eleanor for some reason. It won't let me switch him out. I'm trying my best, but the game will not allow it. I'm pressing the up button and the down button as much as possible. Aizen, switch out, man. I need to kill one of these guys, like, right now, so I'm gonna risk theorizing. Okay, good, I got my soul back, thank goodness. Aizen, let me switch you out, man. Why can't I switch him out? Do I need to, like take control of him and then do it. I didn't mean to theorize here, but I got a stun, so it's okay. And I got the kill as well. 
How did I get up to four? I thought it was only a three. Ah, whatever. We might just have this in the bag. If I can kill this thing, like, right now. Please die. How dare you. I can't switch out Aizen, and I don't know why. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Take control of Aizen. Alright, I'm controlling Aizen. Oh, no! Right when I took control of Aizen, everything went wrong. Lofty set, life bottle, Aizen. And then, like, I can't switch. Why can't Aizen switch with anyone? Is it because he's the Reaper? It's because he's the Reaper, isn't it? All right, well, obviously this isn't gonna work like I hoped it would. Oh, good time. Well done, I'm gonna take control of Velvet again here. There we go, Mega Sonic Thrust times two. Burly spin, that sounds, yeah, it did sound painful and it was painful, who would have thought? Now we are talking, oh yes, beautiful. Someone else take that soul, I don't think we're gonna need it. Actually, I might need it here in a second, Never mind. No one take that soul, I called dibs, mine, thank you. It's so fast. Oh no, Burly, thank goodness that didn't hit me. Die, you stupid snake. Okay, I think we got this, actually. I was a little uh, hesitant at first when I saw its speed and damage output, but now we got it. I still don't understand why I can't uh, switch around. It's just Aizen. I can do it with Rokuro, but I can't with Aizen for some reason. I don't know why. Yo, but I'm loving all this stun-locking spamming we got going on with me theorizing over and over again. Oh, we've got this. In the it's, it's over. Theorizing in it. There we go. I refuse to fall here. They give so little EXP. Oh, that's right. They give you a ton of stuff when you turn in the victories, don't you? That's why they give so little experience. Doubles the effect rate for the first strike in battle. Nice. Poison. This is water element element that causes damage over time and causes one's attacks to be more easily guarded. While poisoned, HP cannot be restored and poison damage can cause KO. That's horrible. Don't want to deal with that. I wonder why I couldn't switch Aizen out, but I could have switched Rokuro. Does it have to do with... Him being the Reaper? That's, like, really annoying if that's the case. But whatever. I don't understand how I had so much trouble with that pill bug way back when. That Code Red Demon that was, uh, underneath the capital in the sewers. I had a lot of trouble with that thing, and I decided not to fight it. But we just fought Horus and the Ouroboros and had little issue. Like, I had to use, like, four life bottles against the Horus, which was pretty bad, but... I only had to use one against the Ouroboros we just fought. I think we're going to go ahead and save and wrap up here for today. We have two different pathways to take. How long does my expedition have? Oh, yeah, we can just wait that out, like, 20 seconds. Big whoop. Anything mastered? No. Well, her... Did you get another bow? I don't think you did. Or ribbon, rather, but you didn't. Oh, well. Can't mess with that, then. Let's just wait a second here for the expedition to come back in. We'll mess with that and then wrap up for today. Come on, expedition. I need you in my life, if you don't mind. Then I unfortunately have to go study for a history test tomorrow that I don't want to take. Take a look at this. I got to level five. That's pretty good. New attachment discovered the mini Lloyd. I do not like Lloyd, but that was the last thing I was looking for. And we're level five now, so we should be able to find the new area in Astra C, but... Scout ship. Obviously, we still need to do some more exploring in Astra Sea. Commander of the Sea got a title. Nice. Let's go ahead and save up the game here. All right. Well, we didn't make a whole lot of progress today, but we killed two Code Red Demons, so that's pretty good. Got to run into that Sword Breaker Demon. But we've still not made it to a port or anything, so we're not entirely sure what's going on with the ship or what's happening over with Artorius and them after we tried to assassinate him and failed miserably. So I guess we're going to try and get out of these tunnels next time and figure out what's really going on and what our next big move is going to be. Which I think is going to get that book translated, but hopefully we can get that under wraps. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time. And until then, farewell.